everybody. We're in the downtown LA Arts District and today we're gonna see nine distinct murals and potentially some other stops along the way. Stay tuned. I'm Jacob aka Gribs Adventures. And I'm Juliana, affectionately known as Juicy J in all these videos. Everything is pretty much walkable in the Arts District and the first stop we're gonna be going to is Angel City Brewing. So excited! And here we are at our first stop, Angel City. It had an awesome outdoor space, but it was way too hot that day, so we spent all of our time inside. As you can see, it was totally decked out for Pride, so naturally I got their brew called the LGBTQ IPA. It was delicious, but it'll be off top by the end of June, so make sure to get there soon. This brewery had enough art for the entire arts district. Some small pieces and some large, like this mural over by the window. On top of all the art, there was an awesome entertainment center. There was foosball and cornhole and a nice little lounging area. We could have stayed here all day. Make your predictions for this cornhole game. I'm probably gonna destroy Juliana. I'm undefeated in cornhole, never lost. Airball. It's 2020. This is the game winning shot. Just have to get it on the board for the game. <laughs> I just wanted to let everybody know that. Cheers. I want, if you could believe it. Just want to let everybody know that Jacob challenged me to a rematch and lost 21 to 7. Hurts. We're at our second location, Hauser & Worth. There's supposed to be a really open, expansive space inside where you can eat and look at art, so let's check it out. Right next to the bustling restaurant, there was this serene garden, and if I had known beforehand, I definitely would have brought us a picnic so we could hang out here longer. There were tons of plants, some chickens, and lots of butterflies flying around. This is one plant that I've never seen before, so if you know what this little puffball is, leave a note in the comments below. Fun fact about me, I'm a plant nerd, botanist extraordinaire. This could be one of two things, fennel or anise. Oh, anise. Catch my pizzelles over Christmas time. This was one of the few exhibits that was actually open and you could walk inside of. I stupidly thought that these were all sculptures when we walked in, but these were in fact real cars. Our third spot is Art Share LA. It's a community art space with rotating exhibits and street art on the wall. Welcome to Art Share. Ooh. Welcome. Charitable arts organization. We've been here since the late 90s. We own and operate the building, the historic textile factory, but now we're for the Here's the main hall of Art Share, which is a really unique space because there's no theme to it. It's just whatever the artists are currently creating. Like this really rare piece here that was um, Jacob's favorite. It reminded me of something from Skyrim or Lord of the Rings, like an orc. It really stood out in the entire gallery to me. This is my favorite piece that I found. There's a lot of dimension to it. If you look closely, there's like layers. I wish I could know how they made it, but... And I love the color. Super cool. We're wrapping up our walkthrough of Art Share LA. I would highly recommend coming here because everything is from a local artist and it's donation based. So free to walk through and see some awesome things happening in the community. Fourth stop is the container yard. Unfortunately, it's closed, temporarily closed, but there is this beautiful mural on the side of the, of the building. There's a lot going on in this piece, including Native American themes and Zodiac themes combined into one extra large mural. I'm not kidding, the size is huge and it's impossible to miss as you're walking down the street. Take some extra pictures. You can see me there for reference. Here's a manly Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle slash Predator 1987 film featuring Arnold Schwarzenegger. This is one of my favorite murals on the side of the container yard. 
Here's a darker piece that I really didn't understand what was going on, but I love the colors. The reds and the purples were gorgeous, and this skeleton was throwing up some gang signs. Pretty cool. What I love about the Arts District is that everything is super close and walkable. So all these places are just a couple steps from the other spot. Even the parking lots are nice and decked out. Sick. We're on the corner of Traction and Hewitt, and this is my favorite piece, mural. It's a bunch of cats <laughs> drinking LA hat. Very cute, very silly, and even on the bottom, white paw. <laughs> this is our fifth spot, a German restaurant I can't pronounce, but they have a ton of sausages, so we're gonna walk across the street, probably grab some lunch, and look at the decor. <laughs> Okay, we got the traditional bratwurst with sauerkraut and caramelized onions, and we have five different mustards to try. So, looking forward to this lunch. Mixing uh, just some stone ground mustard and a spicy Dijon. Yum. Just like home, just like Pittsburgh. I've never had one of these contraptions before, but I'm gonna go with the American yellow because I'm American and I'm scared of the other stuff. First bite. I also love sauerkraut. It's really flavorful. I miss eating sauerkraut on my hot dogs. I know it's not a hot dog, but it, makes, it takes me back to those Costco days when you see a sauerkraut on your hot dogs. In the words of my favorite Instagrammer, Big Justice, this is a boom. This is our six stop Zinc Cafe and Market. I didn't really know what to expect from this restaurant. I thought that it was just going to be food, but there was this really cute little shop inside with lots of home goods, recipe books, Jacob's favorite apple cider, and lots of other little treats. It's fun to go shop if you need things for your kitchen or your home to make it look extra aesthetic. And it's also nice for a Sunday brunch with your friends. There are lots of pastries in this beautiful pastry shelf. We didn't actually get anything to eat because we had been eating all day, but I'd love to come back here, like I said, for a Sunday brunch with some girlfriends or to hang out. All right, now that we're halfway through the video, I wanna give a special shout out to our sponsors. Psych! We don't got no sponsors. I'm only got 300 subscribers. I got loyal friends and family. Shout out Caleb Liu, Uncle Jeff, Auntie Christy, Mom, Mom watches all the videos and grandma and grandpa. I don't know if they watch all, it all the way, but shout out those people for always watching. Here we are at the American Hotel, one of our final stops, number eight, known for a famous mural called Abuelita. You can't see this mural from the front of the building. You have to walk around the back. Make sure to walk to the right side because the other side has an old man, definitely not Abuelita. Our last stop is the murals on Traction and Third Street. Unfortunately, this beautiful mural was vandalized by some street artists, unfortunate. But this is our last stop. I guess this is a price you pay for painting in the art district. You might get graffitied over by some other artists. So make sure to choose your walls wisely, like this giant one in this nice parking lot. Today we explored some incredible murals. I was amazed by the creativity and the vibrant culture around the Arts District. The only thing missing from the Arts District is the artists. Some of these murals have been here for a really long time and it would have been cool to see some of the original inspiration behind these pieces. But other than that, definitely come check it out at least once and get some bratwurst along the way. If you visited the LA Arts District, let us know what your favorite mural is in the comments below or what your favorite art district is in the US. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you do subscribe. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Can't wait to share more adventures and explorations. Please don't talk about